Hallelujah. Father, thank you for today's word. Thank you for the blessings that you are raining upon us and our families. And we ask you that as we go out through this service, we ask for protection. We ask for supernatural healing and revelation. In Jesus' name, Amen. Today, we are going to look at a book by Prophet and it's titled Victory Secrets. Victory Secrets. So throughout Gospel Encounter, um, we are going to be dealing with the victory secrets. Amen. Amen. So we are going to look at victory secret number one, which is chapter one. Victory secret number one, meaning what is a victory secret? Now we're going to look at Job 15 verse 8. Job has thou heard the secrets of God and dost thou restrain wisdom to thyself amen so a victory secret is a secret a victory secret is a secret that will make you into a living wonder a victory secret is a secret that will make you into a, li a living wonder and a victory secret is the secret of God have you heard um, the secret of God have you read the secret of God have you been exposed to the secret of God the hidden wisdom of God is the secret of God have you received the wisdom of God? Have you received revelation from above? If you have not heard the secret of God, you have missed what you really need. The secret of God is the wisdom of God in a mystery that is ordained for your glory and your beautification. And the next verse that we are going to look at is 1 Corinthians 2 verse 7. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 7. It says, But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom. Even what? The hidden wisdom. Which God ordained before the world unto our glory amen what you need is not earthly wisdom because once you leave this earth that's earthly wisdom is what is gone once you leave this earth that earthly wisdom is gone so what you need is not earthly wisdom earthly wisdom is the teaching of economics law math science um, accounting etc all these secular subjects are nice but they are earthly human wisdom there is a place for all those things but he has no place in the church in the church we have something far higher than wisdom and it's in first corinthians 2 verse 4 which says but we speak the wisdom of god in a mystery even the hidden wisdom so we have the hidden wisdom in the church but earthly wisdom has no place in what the church amen so there is a far greater kind of wisdom that comes for your life but we speak the wisdom of god in a mystery even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory. This kind of wisdom has been ordained to make you glorious and to turn you into 
a living wonder now the next thing that we are going to look at is six reasons why you must discover the secret of God number one life and death depend on your discovery of the secrets of God life and death depend on your discovery of the secrets of God and we're going to be reading from Daniel 2 verse 8 to 13 then we read 16 to 22 Daniel 8 verse 13 then from there 16 to 22 So we are going to be looking at Daniel 2 verse 8 and it says The king answered and said I know of certainty that ye would gain the time because ye see the thing is gone from me But if ye will not make known unto me the dream there is one there is but one decree for you for ye have prepared lying and corrupt words to speak before me till the time be changed therefore tell me the dream and I shall know that ye can shew me the interpretation thereof then shall deans answered before the king and said there is not a man upon the earth that shew the king's matter Therefore there is no king, lord, nor ruler that asks such things as any magician or astrologer or Chaldean. And it is a rare thing that the king requireth, and there is none other that can shew it before the king, except the gods, whose dwelling is now flesh. For this cause the king was angry and very furious, and commanded to destroy the wise men of Babylon and the decree went forth that the wise men should be slain and they sought Daniel and his fellows to be slain then Daniel answered sorry we're supposed to read from 16 yeah then Daniel went in and desired of the king that he would give him the time he will give him time and that he will shew the king interpretation then Daniel went to his house and made the thing known to Hananiah Mishael and Azariah his companions that they would desire mercies of the God of heaven concerning this secret that Daniel and his fellow should not perish within the rest of the wise men of Babylon then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in the ninth vision then Daniel blessed the God of heaven Daniel answered and said blessed be the name of God forever and ever for wisdom and might are his and he changes the times and seasons he removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. He revealeth the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness and the light dwelleth with him. Amen. So, it's a lot of verses, but all has what a good explanation amen now daniel and his companions were in great danger of being executed that's what we read in most of the previous verses that they were to be killed with the wise men of babylon death was staring at them in the face and the king knew that most of the wise men the astrologers and magicians were hypocrites amen so he knew that they were hypocrites full of deception King Nebuchadnezzar desperately wanted to clear his palace of imposters 
Amen. He wanted to clear his palace of impostors. And the test that the king the test that the king instituted would ensure that only genuinely wise people would remain in his palace as advisors. To be a good advisor, you need to know certain secrets. There are secrets behind every great achievement and behind every great person. Often we, ro we wrongly speculate about what has made a person great. Most of the time we do not really know the secret of someone's greatness. Discovering certain secrets will prevent you from perishing. The spirit of knowledge is also the spirit of God. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. That's Isaiah 59 verse 19. When the enemy comes in to kill you, the spirit of knowledge lifts up a standard against him. Amen. The word standard is the Hebrew word nas, which means to cause to disappear. Through knowledge, certain things are caused to disappear. Years ago, everyone who developed malaria, asthma, high blood pressure, or diabetes simply died of these diseases. And through knowledge, these diseases have been caused to disappear and have been neutralized. Life and death may depend on your knowledge of certain secrets. There are secrets that are very important for your life. Anyone who has been blessed to enjoy the secrets of God that life and death virtually depend on their knowledge of certain secrets. And this is why you need to seek revelation from God. Your knowledge of a secret will make you have the upper hand. All the advances of science, medicine, astronomy, agriculture, mechanics and physics are based on secrets that they have discovered. These secrets are facts that have existed for thousands of years. Inventors are basically um, discoverers of secrets. E has always been equal to MC2. And Einstein was the only discoverer of a secret that had existed for a thousand of years. Sorry for that, we had technical difficulties. Amen. But by the grace of God, we are back. Now, a victory secret is a revelation that brings you the victory. Victory secrets are revelations from the Holy Spirit that can make the difference in your life's work and ministry. Often, the difference between life and death is a little knowledge. And God can grant you the knowledge today. God can cause you to know a little secret that will change everything about your life and your ministry. Some people call these key snippets of a knowledge a revelation these key snippets of knowledge a revelation whatever you call it these victory secrets will lead to great victories and triumphs so most of um what prophet is saying is self-explanatory and does not need to be explained so all you need to do is pay careful attention to what we are treating many good examples of the effect of the victory secret can be found in history books in the 14th century a disease called the plague entered the world and consumed millions of people and many people died and in entire populations were wiped out the fear of this illness persisted for years as the plague continued to resurface in different parts of the world terrorizing the population and wiping out 
large groups of people. Indeed, early morning Europe experienced the worst human disaster in European history when the plague hit Europe in 1347. This bubonic plague actually wiped out a third of the population of Europe. Can you imagine a disease that spreads throughout a continent and wipes out a third of its population? Even in modern times when the Ebola spread out through Sierra Leone, Liberia and Guinea, only 10,000 people died. Imagine a disease that could wipe out millions of people and empty a continent of its population. Amen. Plague victims had a very low chance of surviving due to symptoms such as high fevers and internal bleeding which will cause black spots and large tumors. Anyone who contracted the disease within died within 3 to 5 days. The doctors of the day thought the plague was created by air corrupted by humid weather, decaying and buried bodies and poor sanitation. Some people also um, thought um, the disease was being spread by Jews. The medical doctors of the 14th century did not know that the disease came through a simple bacteria carried by fleas and rats. The medical profession did not know about simple antibiotics. They had absolutely no way of fighting the disease and knowledge of all the secrets of antibiotics would have been delivered would have delivered millions of people from death it was not until 1877 um, that Louis Pasteur and Robert Koch, Koch observed that an airborne bacillus could inhabit the growth of another bacteria bacillus anthracis, anthracis and this phenomenon exhibited by antibacterial drugs which was called anti Biosis. And it was only in 1942 when the drugs acted that way, acted that acted that way, were eventually named antibiotics by an American biologist, Seaman Waxman. And it was the secret of the bio, bio antibiotics that was absent in the 14th century. And this is the secret that would have prevented millions from of people from perishing. At the hands of the bubonic plague in the 14th century simple drugs like streptomycin gentamicin and ciprofloaxin would have stopped the disease in tracks today your chances of dying from the bubonic plague are almost well zero not even one person would have died if we had the secret of antibiotics a victory secret greatly transforms lives and a victory secret saves many lives a victory secret changes everything one of the most important prayers of your life must be the prayer for the spirit of revelation that is why prophet always plays for the prays for the spirit of revelation each and every time He's praying for the spirit of revelation. Lord, deliver these people. Lord, help them to have the spirit of revelation. This is why. Because if that revelation had if that revelation of antibiotics had been made at that very time, they would have not died from this um, plaque or the plague disease. Amen. I don't even know why they named it the plague. So, there are some secrets that we must pray for. That is why we pray for the spirit of revelation. Without the revelation, they become useless. Amen. So, we must pray for the spirit of revelation to make that difference in your life. Number two, your prosperity depends on your discovery of the secret of God. Isaiah 45 verse 1 to 3 Thus said the Lord to his anointed to Cyrus 
whose right hand I have holding whose right hand I have holding to subdue nations before him and I will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two leaved gates and the gates shall not be shut Amen verse 2 I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight and I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sander the bars of iron and the last one I will give thee treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest knowest that I the Lord that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which called thee by name, am the God of Israel. Amen. What a powerful verse. There's more to that, but we are just looking at this short part of the verse. Amen. So, before I continue, I just want to thank the Lord that today we've been able to stream to both Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Um, and I'm just glad that the Lord has allowed us to have this encounter in both places to increase involvement in the ministry. Amen. So, number two, your prosperity depends on your discovery of the secret of God. Victory secret will lead you to prosperity. Most rich uh, riches are hidden from view. Most real riches are hidden away from view. That is why they are called treasures of darkness. Most of the riches in our world are hidden in secret places. To find the riches of this world, you will need to be given revelation to unlock the secret of how to locate wealth. Amen. You will need to discover the secret places where wealth is hidden. That is why most um, pastors in the UD have a book or two about, um, you know, cryptocurrency. I think Kakrabedin has a book like that, cryptocurrency and others. So try to buy them for yourself and read. Amen so yeah that is it um why some people are still rich remains a mystery to many people do many things in order to prosper but few are given the secret of prosperity money is locked up in secret places and without the knowledge of certain secrets you will live in poverty for the rest of your life it's not a case but it depends on how you live amen church growth sorry you will need the spirit of revelation to give you the secrets and of prosperity and success church growth is released through your knowledge of certain secrets all of our difficulties can be brought to an abrupt end if we discover the secrets behind true success and you need to discover secrets because greatness and prosperity are based on the discovery of important secrets people who have invented cars aeroplanes electronic tables such as the uh, uh, tablets such as the ipad iphones and televisions are the millionaires of our world and many nations do not know the secret of how to make these things work those who have discovered these secrets have become those who have discovered these secrets have become the richest people that have been discovered in the world consider the vast difference that ex exists between those who have discovered the secret of making a mobile phone and those who simply harvest tomatoes and oranges 
you do not need any special secret to harvest coconut or pepper but you do know but you do need to know certain secrets to make a television work knowing secrets makes people very valuable amen not only was daniel kept alive but he also became what you also became the third most important person in the town first is nothing second is nothing at least third the third most important person in the town in a whole town and received prosperity symbolized by a gold chain that was put around his neck it's not these gold chains that young boys will wear around to show that they have all the riches in the world but meanwhile they eat cocoa and beans for dinner when you discover the secret of god through the spirit of revelation you will also become important and you will be covered with gold by the spirit of revelation and we are going to end at um, point three because there are six the next time we come for gospel encounter uh, we'll go for point three amen so we are going to look at the last verse which is daniel 5 29 daniel 5 verse 29 Then commanded Belshazzar, and they clothed Daniel with scarlet, and put a chain of gold about his neck, and made a proclamation concerning him that he should be the third ruler in the kingdom. Amen. So, point three the secret of God. The secret of God is given. To the righteous and to his prophets now proverbs 3 verse 32 proverbs 3 verse 32 says so shall they be life unto thy soul and grace to thy neck amen you do not tell your secrets to everyone why do you expect god to tell his secrets to everyone the people to whom god has given his secret are those he sees as righteous god withholds his revelation from people who are wicked and gives them to the righteous servants are close to their masters and work around their space it is therefore not strange that servants know many secrets that outsiders will never know Strive to be a servant of God and strive to be his prophet and you are guaranteed a rich supply of wonderful secrets. Amos 3 verse 7 Amos 3 verse 7 It says, Surely the Lord God will do nothing but he revealeth his secret unto his servant and prophet. So he doesn't relieve his secret to just anyone. He reveals it to only his servants and his prophets. Amen. Stand to your feet wherever you are. Father, as we are here today, thank you for making this a successful service. And we just want to bless your name and give you all the glory and all the praise and all the honor. And may the coming week be a week of fulfillment, of blessing, and of honor. In Jesus' mighty name.